Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to overclock your Raspberry Pi's GPU to 950 MHz. I'm currently running the Raspberry Pi OS on my Raspberry Pi 4, 4GB model and I'm using the low profile ice tower cooler with a Geek Pi enclosure. And as you can see the OS is running pretty stably. A quick note, if you're planning on overclocking your Raspberry Pi, you'll definitely need some sort of active cooling. A simple heatsink won't do the job. I highly recommend you at least use some case with active cooling, or even the ice tower, which will keep the pie absolutely chilly. And by the way, you're following this tutorial at your own risk, and I won't be responsible for any damage. Now enough with the warnings, and let's get straight into it. First of all, you'll need to open up the terminal and update your pie by typing sudo apt update. Then go ahead and type sudo apt dist upgrade. Once you've done that, you'll need to reboot your Pi in order to apply the changes by typing sudo reboot. After that, open up the tunnel and type sudo nano slash boot slash config dot txt. Then scroll down to the overclocking section and type force turbo equals 1. This command allows us to increase the overvoltage to 13, which then again allows us to overclock the GPU to 950 MHz. Next type overvoltage equals 13 and GPU frequency equals 950. You can also try overclocking the CPU, but as far as I know, you can't actually overclock your CPU while you have Force Turbo. After that, press Ctrl O, hit Enter, and press Ctrl X to exit the config file. Once you've done that, you'll need to reboot your Pi one more time to apply the changes by typing sudo reboot. Now your Pi's GPU should be overclocked to 950 MHz. You can check on your Pi's GPU frequency by opening up the terminal and typing the following command. And as you can see, my Pi is indeed running at around 950 MHz. While it's pretty cool to overclock your Pi's GPU to 950 MHz, I just don't think it's worth it. I would rather overclock the CPU to around 2.1 GHz and the GPU to 750 MHz to realistically speaking get the most power out of your Pi. But other than that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.